suppose Green Jade have been doing this as a ministry since 1996. Um, we did our first show at the Bear, I think, in Deptford um, a long while ago, part of Club Vision. Um, but we've been a hip hop crew since 1992 under the name Green Jade. So it's now coming up to 18 years uh, of the name of the crew. So it's been a while um, and we've seen a lot of changes in that period of time and stuff, but um, it's been an interesting journey. Um, everything's changed, um, just the fact that you're allowed to do it. Um, I remember when we first kind of started, um, we did a performance in our church, um, in our headquarter church, and we remember missionaries getting up and walking out in disgust. We used to have preachers who would preach against sort of um, hip hop um, and say that it was of the devil and various different stuff and through our ministry we were able to change a few people's minds and some of those same preachers have invited us to come and minister in their churches and talk to their young people. So it's been, it's been a tremendous difference. I mean, when we started, hip hop or rap music was the thing that they did for the young people. Um, and, um, and that was pretty much all they could see it as. They couldn't see it as a ministry or anything beyond that. Um, and all, all the shows were choir shows and we would be the urban bit at the end for the kids. Um, now you barely get any choirs and most of the up and coming artists who are really doing a lot of stuff tend to be hip hop or, or rhyme based artists. And now it's um, now sort of moved on to grime and stuff more so than hip hop. But you know, it's been almost a complete change around in the way that we approach the music and even the church's acceptance of this kind of style of music being a ministry. Because uh, for us, we didn't really come into it looking to be a gospel group per se. What it was was we knew God had given us this gift um, and that he wanted us to communicate using this gift and really essentially what we wanted to do was to go back to the people who were like us you know before we came to Christ chilling somewhere with their mates smoking weed and talking about girl and, and be able to convey how Christ had become relevant to us um, and that was really our heart and that was what we wanted to do was to go back to people who understood the language of hip-hop and kind of convey Christ and introduce people to Christ in the way that we had been introduced to him. Um, so yeah, so, so it's been a real turnaround and it's wonderful to see. I mean, even going to shows now um, in non-Christian venues and having Christian DJs play music and stuff like that, that, that's of a quality, you know, that never used to happen. It's, it's, you know, so in the last 10, 15 years, and I mean, that's coming from the point of view, I, we, we used to put on events. We put on one of the first sort of non-Christian events in a secular venue at the Granary, it was called um, um, uh, Rebirth back in like 2000, 2001. So, you know, it's been an amazing change. So, you know, I'm really encouraged to look at, say, for example, the mobile nominations, and there's two sort of hip hop guys nominated this year. It's amazing. I would say that, remember that the word minister means to serve. It doesn't mean that you're a pastor. It doesn't mean anything of those sorts of things. It doesn't mean that you can lay hands on people and they stand up. It means to serve. And that's the first thing you've got to do. Who is the community that God has given you to serve? And serve them. Do you know what I mean? Find out what their needs are. Don't just assume that you can say Jesus to someone and that meets all of their needs. They might actually need a piece of food. And once you've given them that piece of food, you start the relationship with that person and then you can talk to them about the Christ who you know. Because the Bible says that we need to go out and make disciples, which means people need to follow you as you follow Christ. And they can only do that if there's a relationship. So first and foremost, the most important thing for anyone who calls himself a minister, serve, be willing to serve. Be willing to serve the community that God has put into your hands. Um, as I said before, our thing was to kind of go back to the people who were like us, who were on the fringes of gangs and um, you know carrying weapons and involved in drugs and various different stuff, which we were as a crew. And we were able to do that by going into schools with the Guns Down Schools program, and you know for like five years, and just talk to young people about the issues and the dangers of guns and knives and things. And no, we weren't in a position in the schools to preach Christ to them, but we have through that built relationships with people who we therefore then brung to Christ because we came and met their need first. So that would be my encouragement. You know, any way that you can serve the community that God has given you to serve. Because um, I really believe that in, in my heart that that's what God has called us to do. Much love.
people, this is your boy Wisdom out the Green Jay Crew. Make sure you subscribe up there in the corner just above me um, to gospelcipher.com. Make sure you, I want you to see all of the videos that come on the YouTube, not just some of the ones that you pick off because you know the people. Make sure you watch all of them. Do that, yeah? Much love. Support gospelcipher.com. Peace.